just the foot is all the way down. So it's holding off, it's not trying to give me everything. 3%, still no more warnings. Welcome back to Plug and Play EV. I'm Steve. This is our 2022 Hyundai Ionic 5 and the series looking at different features and deep dives into the car. Let's go. Okay, so this is the last 10% of the pack. We got the warning at 10% as usual to find the charge station. But the point will be initially here to see how long this 20 miles lasts. We I haven't got much below this 10%. All the tests we've done have hitting 10% and trying to get to that 80%. Just got finished with a uh, almost 1600 mile road trip of uh, spring vacation week to Cleveland, Ohio. So that was a solid road trip. A few things to point out, lots of lights, a couple of minor gripes and grumbles, but nothing that would be a deal breaker. Comfort is great. Really, really happy with the long journey comfort and convenience. We're not skimping, not on eco or anything. I'm just trying to see what we can use, how far we can get actually on this 20 miles that we had. So starting at uh, around 2,500 when we hit 10% and going all the way down to one or 2% depending on where we are and what's comfortable. Okay, so you get your 5% warning. The power is noticeably lower but uh, still enough to keep you moving around and I would say from what I can tell enough to uh, be safe and useful on highways to get you up to speed with traffic so we'll just put that to okay so one of the things I don't like is this kind of odd target thing it's uh, just bizarre and then you have to kind of find the thing that you want this is just old school stuff that will probably change in the near future. But for example, what's this? You can find a charger. There you go, it does hook up to it eventually. So I'll show you EV range, not very far. I couldn't even get to Boston. And that's a useful little thing. Nearby info, places of interest, EV charging stations are on, so that's just doing all that. If I wanted to find a charging station now, if I was really stuck, maybe be able to go here find this one for me and could navigate to it right now it's filtered to only show fast charging you can set that as your destination maybe I'll do a bit of driving with the nav on it's hard to see I can't really catch it maybe there's a little bit there uh, once I go to a certain angle you can see the HUD kind of appearing here shows your speed limit shows your uh, driving directions when you move and in uh, motion all that good stuff so that's more of a other video trying to capture that but let's see what we get over the next uh, three or four percent and what kind of power we get still decent pickup We've still got power to all four wheels. You get the little graphic showing you whether it's putting power down to all four. So four percent, but it's still giving drive to all four wheels, which is um, what I was saying on eco mode. You're um, you're only getting power to the rear wheels because it's trying to save that power and not uh, waste it on. pushing all-wheel drive too hard. Okay, so 4%. Definite lag, not trying too hard. Still giving power to all four wheels, but mostly to the back. And it's a 60, that's maybe not nearly as quick, but definitely uh, gives you pause for thought. Doesn't want you to go and tear it up. Wants you to think about it when you press accelerator. Take your time, and it will give you the power, but it gives it you grudgingly. I haven't had any more warnings, so it's not bugging me like crazy. It just gives that 10% and 5%. So I've actually gone now 
coming up on 17 miles from when we uh, got to 10% and still have 8 left according to the gun. So, might be doing that thing of saving you a little bit in reserve just in case, trying to not do the low of the bolt and panic you into charging, but certainly keeping a bit in reserve that it doesn't tell you about. But very, really not nagging me, so uh, seems to be confident that I know what I'm doing because at this point the bolt would be flashing, frequently charged vehicle soon signs would be popping up. So there we have the charger, so fear not if you were worried. But 2% left, 5 miles, that's about as low as I'm willing to drive right now, not knowing the car super well. But maybe we'll pull on the heat here, I'll get a chance to show the electricity use screen, which is the kind of real-time equivalent of what we have in the Bolt with the energy use screen. So we've got the red pack, that's about as uh, histrionic as this is getting right here. Everything else has been pretty low-key. 10% warning, 5% warning, and just the low battery kind of sign on the, the dash here. A little red one down there, nothing too crazy. But we're at, uh, shows you real time here, what the electronics are doing with nothing on. So pretty low, 0.2 to 0.3 kilowatts. So 200, 300 watts. If I crank on the heater, Let's see how that changes, because we haven't really had a lot of use for the heat. We'll see how that starts at a regular 72 degrees. Obviously it's not a cold day today, we're at 52 degrees already, so it's not working crazy hard to get that temperature up. But it's around a kilowatt right now. Let's see if having the fan on higher moves that much. to punch it up to a couple of kilowatts and then let's see how high we can go on the temperature it's 80 in the bolt and then it turns to high and here it just stops at 82 degrees Fahrenheit okay so that is working very hard not quite as high as the bolt which will usually peak around seven and a half to eight kilowatts but we'll see how high it goes and then where it settles. That should be enough also to get us down to 1% here. Although it's going to be uncomfortable in here for me for a sec. <laughs> so I've peaked around 5 kilowatts. It's hovering around lower threes now. So a combined draw of those uh, in the region of three and a half to four kilowatts and the mileage is going down I haven't driven anywhere after five miles and it's uh, telling me less and less here but two kilowatts after only a few minutes of heating is pretty good bodes well for the winter 